You mentioned that you had to make that difficult decision to leave Greenwood after almost 11 years there. So a very long time seeing it grow from pretty much nothing to the level you had taken it. How did you know that it was time to, you know, move on to a new challenge? What are some tips that others can use when they are thinking about a big career move or transition? Um, yes, leaving Greenwood was very hard. You know, everybody who worked there was somebody I hired. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, I had a very strong personal connection to people there. Uh, and it was very difficult to make the decision to leave. And I had to leave because I wasn't as happy as I used to be. So mm -hmm. that was as far as I was concerned, uh, you, you got to be happy. And I was not as happy as I used to be. And in terms of tips for others don't start thinking about it when you're ready to leave uh, three years earlier <laughs> and you know I was always very generous with my time with my knowledge with my connections with my expertise anybody who ever reached out to me to ask for advice to ask for my opinion to ask for my help for an introduction I was always happy to help by the time I left Greenwood, the world was full of people. <laughs> My environment was full of people who I have helped, gave advice, just wasn't kind to along the way. So when I was looking for my next opportunity, there were a whole bunch of people in my network who knew me, knew what I could do, knew mm -hmm. what I knew, and um, were happy to help me. Mm -hmm. So my job at Yi Hong came from somebody I helped and mentored a few years earlier. <laughs> mm -hmm. It comes back to all those connections, right? Building those relationships with people. Yeah. And, and you know, I don't play golf and uh, I cannot recommend gala dinners. I hate those. <laughs> <laughs> so as far as I'm concerned, uh, 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 networking is making connections, mm -hmm. making mm -hmm. personal connections with people. And you said you were not feeling happy and that's how you knew that it was time to move that requires some self-awareness uh, and some courage a lot of people will be unhappy in their roles or jobs but they are afraid to take that next step or let go of something that was very comfortable and a, a great paying job a great position yeah. um, how did you manage all of those emotions those thoughts when you were making that tough decision uh, again, I'm lucky enough that I did not worry. Money was not something I was worried about. It was more, will I find something I'll be happy with? And how do I leave those people who love me, respect me, want me there? <laughs> <laughs> really, my struggle was how do I leave my team? That was my largest, biggest struggle in all of this. But when it's time to go, it's time to go. If you, if you have enough of, um, uh, of a network, if you, if you don't fear of uh, what you're going to be find next, it's, mm. it's definitely easier. Because most times we're afraid of losing what we already have versus thinking about what we might gain from that change or that future. Yes. For sure. You know, so you built the team at Greenwood pretty much from nothing. So you've led a huge team. What does leadership mean to you? You know, uh, uh, it's hard for me to, to put myself in a box. I don't fit in a box. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, there are things that are important to me. I really care about uh, people. I always uh, uh, see myself as um, you know, uh, uh, the people who work with me are usually very accomplished. They are experts in their fields. They don't need me to tell them what to do. Mm. So I see my role as being somebody they turn to for advice, for, you know, somebody to run ideas by, somebody to get feedback from. So somebody to help them see things from other perspectives. I, I used to always say that part of the, the magic magic sauce was that I was not from the sector, mm -hmm. so I would mm -hmm. ask them, you know, these questions that an outsider would ask. I never pushed my agenda on anybody. I assumed that if they tell me no, that this will not work, they know what they're doing, they know what they uh, are saying. So uh, I'm a democratic kind <laughs> of leader. <laughs> I, I see my role as helping, coaching, mentoring, being a friend. And when you were building your team, when you were getting all those members in to work with you, is there one particular question that you asked everyone you would interview? 
because I, I placed a lot of uh, importance on working as a team, I really believe that the leader is just as good as the team they are leading. Mm -hmm. uh, I would always listen to, are they talking only about themselves? Mm -hmm. Do I only hear me and I? Or do, do I also hear us and we? Mm -hmm. uh, and I know in interview settings, sometimes people get all, all caught up about, uh, with trying to make a, a great impression. Mm -hmm. uh, so if they did not talk about their team, I would prompt them. Mm -hmm. So did you do all this yourself or did you have a team that worked with you? Mm -hmm. And if that didn't spark a whole conversation about how amazing their team was, then I'd be worried. It, you know, a leader is nothing without the team, they say. So it's really the work of the team together with the leader that produces the results and the performance. Yes, 100%. Yeah, yeah. A, a leader cannot work alone. Mm -hmm. uh, if you're a leader, if you're working alone, then you're not really leading. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what do you think is the biggest challenge that leaders are facing today? I really think that because leadership is, 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 is a relationship kind of thing, I don't think there's anything really different about leadership today and 50 years ago. You know, the population might be different. There's more diversity. People are more connected to technology. There's all kinds of things that are in our surrounding that are different. But at the end, we are all humans. We mm -hmm. all crave love, attention. Mm -hmm. We want to be appreciated. Yeah, we're, we're, we're humans. So, so I think as long as, as we remember that, that human relationship is, what's, is what matters, I don't think there's a, a difference in, in how you would build relationships today and 50 years ago. I, I happen, even though I'm a much of a reader, I only read how to win friends and right. influence it's... people <laughs> a, a year or so ago. And that's a... You know, my father got that book for his wedding, so I, ah. it must be like 60 years old, <laughs> old <laughs> book. But the, the, the things he talks about mm -hmm. are still just mm -hmm. as relevant today. It's so true. It's, you know, really the human connection. It doesn't matter where you come from or the color of your skin. We're all human at the, you know, at the bottom of it. And mm -hmm. I'm wondering, you know, coming from Israel, did you find cultural differences in, you know, in work, in leadership? Yes, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I use my uh, my Israeli background as an excuse always. Uh, you know, I, I, I say, sorry, this is the Israeli in, in me, but I have to say this uh, because, yeah, Israelis are way more direct mm. uh, and so speak what's on their mind. Uh, and in Canada, it took me a time to learn that uh, when sometimes when people say yes, they actually mean no. <laughs> So if the yes is not a very clear yes and, and it goes around and around, it might actually be a no. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, there's lots of things I really love about the Canadian culture. In, in Israel, I found uh, people don't play by the rules. In that sense, it, it's so much easier when there are rules and you know that everybody plays in there. You, you know what the rules are the games, what the rules of the game are. It's mm -hmm. much easier to play the game. So that perspective, you know, having that Israeli perspective and now the Canadian perspective gives you a, a more rounded, you know, way to look at leadership and looking at leading and relationship building and work and uh, and you know life in general. 